Ladies and gentlemen, it is Judgment Day. The first ever taped pay-per-view and it's Raw exclusive. Let's go. Here we go, it is time to start off the Raw exclusive Judgment Day pay-per-view. This will be the first ever tape pay-per-view on the channel. And we are starting off with one huge opener. It is a eight-man Fatal 4-Way Tornado Tag. We have four teams going all at it in a Tornado Tag for the vacant Raw Tag Team Championships and coming out first is The Way. Let's find out who their opponents are. And coming out first is the Mysterio family, Dominic and Rey Mysterio. This is a legendary moment for Rey Mysterio getting a wrestle with his son competing for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Coming out next is the team of RK Bro, the first man in the team, Riddle. And here comes his teammate, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. If I'm being honest, there is no way RK Bro is not walking out with the Raw Tag Team Championship tonight. And here comes the final team, the Viking Raiders. We have four stacked teams in this matchup. But the final question, who will walk out as the first ever Raw Tag Team Champions? Let's find out right now. Look! at how many men are in this ring right now oh my god i don't know if we're gonna see an ending i don't even know if i can properly commentate this match there's literally bodies everywhere everybody's getting a piece of everybody it is crazy all right, I see Dominic going after Riddle, Randy's going after Ray, Austin Theory's going after Eric, and Ivar's being handled by Gargano. All right. Wow, the cameraman is really going to have to help out tonight. All right, oh, here we go. Randy Orton with a nice power slam to Rey Mysterio. And Dominic Mysterio went for a pin on Riddle, but it was a rope break. There's rope breaks in this? That's even worse. And Riddle takes down Dominic. And I just saw Eric get taken out by Theory. And now Ivar with a spine buster slam to Randy Orton. Alright, Austin Theory is taking care of uh, Eric on the outside. We'll let him do his thing. Let's worry about what's going on in the ring though. Ivar is going at it with Randy. Riddle just dropped uh, Dominic Mysterio. Gargano is going at Rey Mysterio. A kick to his gut. Gargano has Mysterio right where he wants him. And Rey Mysterio is going to roll out of the ring. Go to safety. Now Gargano is going to worry about Randy Orton. Oh my goodness. This is the most craziest match I think I'm ever going to see in my career. Oh, hold on, Gargano. Gargano is getting Randy, but Riddle's up. Gargano's going to bring Randy to the middle of the... Oh! Rey Mysterio! DDT on the outside to Ivar! And Gargano escape! Gargano escape on Randy Orton! No way! Johnny Gargano just single-handedly got the victory for the way in the quickest way possible! Wow. All it took was one Gargano escape. 
and the way are the new Raw Tag Team Champions. Well, it's now time for us to move on to the next matchup tonight on Judgment Day. And coming out is the Prince, Finn Balor. What an extraordinary superstar that we have right here. Hold on. Look at him. We haven't actually seen Finn Balor in action on Raw, and neither ha are we have we even seen his opponent. His opponent is someone who got traded up from NXT back during the draft. Let's find out who Balor's big opponent is going to be. Oh my god, those eyes on the Judgment Day ball were creepy as hell. Here comes Finn Balor's opponent straight from NXT making his debut on the main roster, Dexter Loomis. This is going to be his first match in on Raw and ever. He hasn't been booked in any Raw matches prior and he's making his big debut on the Judgment Day pay-per-view against the extraordinary Finn Balor. Look at how he just slithers in the ring. Oh my goodness. Let's see Dexter Loomis in action. And here we go. Finn Balor against Dexter Loomis. Dexter Loomis' big debut on Judgment Day and Finn Balor's first Raw match. Here we go. Dexter Loomis reversed, got out of that corner, and now Finn Balor going to get back in control. Nice Saito suplex to um, Dexter Loomis. And now Finn Balor going to go for a submission early on in the match. Way too early for this. This is not the tag team match. Oh, a submission is not going to take out Dexter so easily. Now Dexter Loomis likes to wear his opponents out. Oh my! Dexter Loomis is going to go for a submission now. Giving Balor a taste of his own medicine. Elbow to his head. Finn Balor and Dexter Loomis both trying to take each other out early. Both of these guys know how much of threats they are to each other. And now Finn Balor. Let's float over DDT to Loomis there. And now the punches to the head. Balor tried to pick Loomis up. Loomis, nice reversal. And now he's going to punches to Balor. And he's going to keep the punches going. Going to try to tire and weaken Al Balor at the start of the match. Dexter Loomis just going off. And then Al Balor with the reversal. Not going to let himself get punched anymore. Try to grab the legs there. Loomis kicked him off. And now Loomis is going to take back control. Spine Buster. And now Loomis is going to go after the leg. Nice knee to the leg. Oh, he's not done. Another knee to his leg. And a kick to the back. Dexter and Loomis trying to take control. Balor's back up now. And now Balor. Suplex. All right, Balor going to try to get back in control. Nope, Dexter and Loomis going to reverse. And now Loomis picking up Finn. Oh, Power Rumbles. Oh, my God. Throwing Finn Balor out of the ring in powerbomb style. And now Dexter Loomis going to go top rope while Balor's outside. This is dangerous. Loomis with the jump. Oh, I'm not even going to ask. I think Balor moved out the way while he was taunted to the crowd, I guess. And throws Loomis in the ring. Loomis, oh my god. Loomis with an amazing jump over the top rope. I didn't see that coming. But now Finn Balor with a leg sweep going to get back in control. We're at a two count now. Man, I cannot wait for tonight's main event. The WWE Championship is on the line. I'm not even going to tell you guys. You, you guys didn't get to see the prior Raw. You know the number one contenders. Oh, Finn Balor! 1916! Wait, was that the night? That was not the 1916. I don't think it was. 
But anyway, top rope, coup de gras! First finisher of the match, Finn Balor. Oh, two and a half. Dexter Loomis kicks out of the coup de gras. Finn Balor is shocked. He did not know he was up against. And now Dexter Loomis is up. Went for a clothesline, but Balor grabbed him into a, a sling. Sling. Fuck. Sling blade. Finn Balor telling Loomis to get up. He's top row. Balor. Oh, gets punched in the gut. And now Loomis going to pick Balor up. And now Loomis going to go for the elevated triangle choke. The submission is in. Is Finn Balor going to tap? Finn Balor. Punches to the gut. He's still in it. Gets out of the submission hole. Balor needs to stay focused. And now Loomis picking up Balor again. Drops him head first on the turnbuckle. And now we're gonna just oh choke him with his foot. And now Dexter Loomis picking up Finn Balor. Oh boy, it's time for the silence! It's time! Finn Balor is in very tr beat trouble right now. Dexter Loomis has the tr silence in. Is Balor out? Balor is struggling to get out of this hold. Oh my god. Finn Balor survived the hold and Dexter and Loomis let him out. What a great match we're looking at so far, ladies and gentlemen. And now Dexter and Loomis with Balor in the corner. Gonna... Oh, Balor got out of it. Balor got out of trouble there. And now Finn Balor. Back in control. Reverses again. Oh, elbow to the head. But Balor's still in it. Balor's still in it with the punches. And now float over DDT in the middle of the ring. And now Finn Balor's... And now Loomis doesn't get him. And now Loomis putting Balor on the ropes. And now just using him as a punching bag. Throws him off the ropes. Oh, clothesline. And now Balor with the reversal. Tried to go for a punch. Dexter Loomis reverse. Went for a punch of his own. Another reversal. Kick to the gut. And now Balor. Sling blade. With a drop kick to the head. Followed up. And now Finn Balor. Throwing him into the corner. Punch to the gut. Putting Loomis into the. Seated on the bottom turnbuckle. Now Loomis with the reversal. Going to get up. And now Loomis drops Balor with a kip up. Oh, with a leg drop. And now Loomis is going to get the submission hold back in. Loomis with another submission. I think Balor might tap this time. Balor taps. Oh my goodness. What an impressive debut for Dexter Loomis tonight. Dexter Loomis makes his Raw debut on Judgment Day, and he takes down the Prince in his first match. And now looking for a show of respect, and he's earned the respect of Balor. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for a championship match. The United States Championship is about to be on the line and coming out first, the Archer of Infamy himself, Damian Priest. He won a number one contenders match to be here tonight. And Damian Priest is looking to take the United States Championship. But I don't know if he'll be able to take it from the dominant United States Champion. Let's see who he is. And there... He is Shinsuke Nakamura. The United States champion himself is here tonight. Listen to the crowd sing his theme song. Now Shinsuke Nakamura has been very dominant. Actually, I don't even think he's lost a match in his career yet. Ever since his rivalry with Jeff Hardy. Which got him the United States championship that is around his waist. But tonight, it is Judgment Day. So we have great stipulations. The first championship stipulation, which is this match, 
This is a hardcore match. False count anywhere, extreme rules, anything goes, anything could happen. Can Shinsuke Nakamura defend this title in these extreme conditions? Let's find out. All right, here we go. United States Championship. Damian Priest already threw in Shinsuke out the ring. United States Championship is on the line. We are in a hardcore match for the first Judgment Day stipulation. Damian Priest is already taking advantage. Already has Shinsuke out of the ring. Already trying to put a submission hold in at the start of the match. Remember, this is false count anywhere, and this is extreme rules. Anything can go. Anything can happen. Damian Priest tried to get a move on Shinsuke. Shinsuke stomps on his foot, gets out of it. Now, like I said, oh, nice slam. Nakamura has not even lost a match in his career yet. Oh, my God. Nice combo by Shinsuke. Damian Priest with the reversal there. Shinsuke tried to punch him. And another reversal by Nakamura. Got out of that suplex. It looked like weave that kick. Another weave. Well, back and forth action. Shinsuke now with a suplex to Damian, and he's back in total control. The match didn't even get a second in the ring, but now Nakamura's going to bring it back in the ring. He knows the dangers of being outside. Remember, he needs to retain his championship tonight. And with anything can go, when, when it's extreme rules and it's false count anywhere, the champion is at a disadvantage. Nakamura! Double axe handle to Damian Priest. And I was going to go back to the top rope. But Damian Priest is up. Nakamura gets down. Nice punch by Priest. The punch is in a lariat. And now Damian Priest is going to go out of the ring. Nakamura is going to follow. Priest is going to make him play cat and mouse. And now he has control. Suplex. Through Shinsuke at the end of that. And now Damian Priest. Oh, headbutt to the neck. Nakamura got out of that and weaved the kick again. Damian Priest is not letting Nakamura get those kicks in. Falcon Arrow by Damian Priest. Damian Priest is on a mission. Springboard! Lariat by Damian Priest. Damian Priest wants that United States Championship and he knows what he needs to do to get it. And now Damian Priest... Oh, he was going to fish for that weapon, but Nakamura stopped him. The crowd chanting that they want tables. Nakamura is not going to allow that. And now Damian Priest with the reversal. Went for a boop and Nakamura reversed it. Nice clothesline. Drops him. And now Nakamura is in control. Nakamura is going to go for sure the first weapon of the match. And he pulls out the steel chair. Oh, Damian Priest able to stop him from getting the hit. And he throws him in the ring. Damian Priest has the chair in his hand. Nakamura watched out. Oh, Damian Priest stops him. Nakamura's going to slam him on that chair. And now Damian Priest. Suplex. Oh, Nakamura's head fell on the chair. And now Damian Priest. South of heaven. And picking Nakamura right back up. He knows what he needs to do. Reversal by Nakamura and he drops him. Nice takedown by Nakamura. Nakamura staying in control. He knows how much of a threat Damian Priest is. And now he throws Priest out the ring. And now both men are back out the ring. Oh my goodness. Nakamura is going to get back in the ring. He's picking up that steel chair. And he's going to go right back out. Damian Priest with the kick. That steel chair. Very dangerous. Nakamura with the punch. Oh, Damian Priest with the reversal gets away. And a takedown by Priest. The chair is picked up. And there's nowhere to run. Nakamura getting slaughtered by that steel chair. Oh my god, he was able to reverse that hit. But Priest, oh! Didn't get that hit, it didn't connect. And now Nakamura throws Priest. But Priest stops in his tracks. Shinsuke! Oh, to the back of his knee. And I'm trying to rip his arm off there. This has been a great match so far. Shinsuke Nakamura going to put a submission hold in. Shinsuke got the submission hold in. Is Priest going to tap? 
Remember, this is false counter anywhere. Priest is not safe on the outside. All right, Priest with the knees to the head gets out of the submission hold. And now Priest grabbing Shinsuke. Falcon arrow on the outside. That picking up the damage steel chair and another hit to Nakamura's back. That steel chair is done for. What's Damian Priest looking for? Oh, he couldn't get it. Nakamura with the reversal. Nakamura with the King Sasha! King Sasha by Shinsuke! One, two, kick out by Priest. Oh my god. What an amazing King Sasha out of nowhere by Nakamura. And he's going to go back on in the ring. Shinsuke needs something. He pulls out the kendo stick. Champions advantage. Whacking Priest with the kendo stick. Priest is not even phased. And now Priest with the kendo stick to Nakamura. Oh my god, it's broken. Damian Priest has been laying Nakamura in with these weapons. Who knows how much more Nakamura can survive. Oh! Knee to the gut of Priest. And now Priest is back in control. Throws him into the steel steps. Damian Priest is using his ring awareness. He's using everything to his advantage. He knows what he needs to do to win this title. Damian Priest. It's time for the reckoning. Damian Priest may have the championship in his hands. Where's the count? One. Two. Oh, the referee took way too long for that count. We don't even know what happened. But how did Nakamura even kick out? He got assaulted with a steel chair. Got a kendo stick broken on his back. Thrown into the steel steps. Wow. Shinsuke Nakamura showing how resilient he is. But Damian Priest. Oh, Shinsuke lands on his feet. And now Nakamura. Oh. You see Priest's arm bounced off the steel steps. Nakamura's going to look for a weapon. No, Priest is not going to allow that to happen. Oh, kick to the head. Damian Priest has been using everything to his... Uh-oh! Priest with the arm submission in! Is Nakamura going to tap? Are we going to see Nakamura tap? Nakamura... Oh, he's getting out of it! And a punch to the head! Shinsuke Nakamura escapes that submission. Nakamura with the Nether King Sasha! Damian Priest is busted open! Oh my god, he kicked out! How the hell did Damian Priest just kick out? His head is busted open after that King Sasha. And Nakamura with another chair. Priest rolls out of the way though. And now we're going to bring it back into the ring. But Priest has the chair. Why did Nakamura get out? Oh, Nakamura with the punch. Priest able to get Nakamura. But Nakamura with the reversal. And now Priest with the reversal. Nakamura tried it. But now Priest has the chair in his hand again. And here we go with that bloody steel chair. Damian Priest laying it into Nakamura. Oh, Nakamura with the kick. Stops the assault. And now he's going to get an assault. Chair to the back of Priest. And now Nakamura is going to make Priest feel what he's been feeling. That steel chair is banged up now. And now Shinsuke Nakamura going to throw Priest into the ring. He knows how dangerous the outside is now. Now Nakamura is going to try to win it in the ring. And now Nakamura with those signature kicks. Kick after kick after kick. Damian Priest having to eat all of that. Oh, and a kick to the head. And Nakamura picks him right back up. He knows what needs to be done. Power slam. Nakamura. Has Priest right where he wants him. Oh, Priest with the reversal. Nakamura on the rope, stunned. Priest and a crossbody. Damian Priest is back in control. Stopping a mud hole into Nakamura. And now Priest going to pick Nakamura up. Got his arms locked. Oh. And now Damian Priest. Telling Nakamura to get up. Is this it? Is this going to be it? Damian Priest. The reckoning. I think we might have a new champion. One. Two. Three. Oh my God. Damian Priest is the 
new United States Champion! What a match! Damian Priest and Shinsuke Nakamura just put on one hell of a championship encounter. The hardcore stipulation gave Damian Priest everything he needed to win that title. He used every weapon to his advantage, and he is the new U.S. Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Shotzi, oh wow, just shot that thing into the crowd. Listen to that damn tank. Damn, it sounds like the thing is struggling to even... Well, it's time for a uh, filler matchup for the night. Shotzi Blackheart is here with her tank. The ballsy Shotzi is making her first... I think this is his first match. Yeah, this is her first Raw appearance. Coming here on Judgment Day with that tank of hers. Looking badass as usual. Let's find out who Shotzi will be taking on tonight. Here comes Shotzi's opponent, Liv Morgan. She is definitely a fan favorite, even though this is her first match. I'm, I think this is, yeah, this is Liv Morgan's, no, this is her second match, I'm pretty sure. Liv Morgan is ecstatic to fight tonight on Judgment Day. Let's get into the matchup. Alright, here we go. Shotzi is taking on Liv Morgan in this Judgment Day matchup. And now Shotzi... The tradition of going top rope early on in the match. Elbow drop to Liv Morgan. Man, I still can't get over that last match that we just saw. Shinsuke, well, King Nakamura and Damian Priest just tore the house down in that hardcore match. But now let's focus on Shotzi versus Liv Morgan. Both of these women have something to prove. I'm pretty sure the Raw Women's Championship match is up next. Oh, Liv Morgan. Nice reversal there. And a kick to the back. Coming up next is going to be the triple threat for the Raw Women's Championship. Uh, it was originally supposed to be Alexa Bliss for Shayna Baszler. But, oh, nice drop kick to the outside by Liv. But as you all know, Charlotte Flair made got herself um, inducted into that match after attacking Alexa Bliss. And then Alexa Bliss retaliating. Basically just letting Charlotte into this match. And that match is going to be a hell of a match. I can't wait for you guys to learn about the stipulation next. Alright, we're at a count of three. Liv and Shotzi fighting outside the ring. Shotzi picking up Liv. Oh, she still has her up. Power bomb. Oh, that was a vicious landing. And now Shotzi going to throw Liv Morgan back into the ring. At a count of five, we're back. And now Shotzi with a knee to live. Another knee and a punch and a punch. Shotzi laying it. Springboard Hurricane Rana and a kip up. Shotzi is fired up. Here we go. Nice. Shotzi, nice move there. Now she's going to go straight to the top rope after that. Shotzi Blackheart. Uh. Diving body splash on to live. And now Shotzi's going to go back top rope. I think she's ready. Staring down Liv. Another bowl went for a body splash. But Morgan had the knees up. And now Liv Morgan going to throw Shotzi into the corner. Okay. Oh, here we go. Liv Morgan. Bulldog off the top rope. Nice move there. And now Liv Morgan's going to be in control. Shotzi Blackheart. Not letting her get in control. Horikarana. But Liv Morgan's getting right back up. Shotzi going to have to get her right back down. Oh, double hook suplex there. And now Shotzi's going to go middle rope. Senton off the middle rope. 
and now gonna pin Liv Morgan. One, two, three. And Shotzi gets the victory tonight on Judgment Day. Nice win for that young lady here tonight. Let's see what that win will do for the rest of her career. What? Well, let's, let's see what that will do for the future of her career. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the co-main event of the night. We have one big triple threat. The Raw Women's Championship is on the line. And as you know, it's Judgment Day. So we got some Judgment Day Championship stipulations for you. This triple threat match is going to be a Judgment Day Cell match. As you can see, there's a cage above the ring. The classic rusty Judgment Day cage. And that's what these women have to compete in. I don't know if escaping is allowed, but I think I don't I don't think escaping is allowed, but let's find out who Shayna will be taking on. And here comes the queen. Charlotte Flair. Of course, she butt herself into this Roman's championship match. Shayna Baszler, fair and square, won a number one contenders match to take on Alexa Bliss tonight. But Charlotte had to butt herself in. And she attacked Alexa after their match. Patronized Alexa the next week. And Alexa had to retaliate. So the GM just decided just put Charlotte in the match. So we have a triple threat on our hands tonight. Let's bring out the Raw Women's Champion. Here comes the Raw Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but Alexa Bliss is known for ending all of her matches in less than five minutes. Every single match that Alexa Bliss has had, including the Raw Women's Championship match, were all under five minutes. Alexa Bliss knows how to make quick work of her opponents, but she's in a triple threat tonight. So we're going to definitely be over here for more than five minutes. It's time for Alexa Bliss to defend the Raw Women's Championship in the Judgment Day match. There it is, the Raw Women's Championship. On the line right now. Look at the cage coming down. Shayna Baszler, Charlotte Flair, Alexa Bliss, Raw Women's Championship. Let's go. Shayna Baszler going straight after the champion. Alexa throws her to the corner. And look at Charlotte. Already taunting. Already just. And now Shayna. Oh, knee to the head. And look at Charlotte staying out of the action. As always, making sure she doesn't get hurt. Just waiting to take advantage. And now Shayna stomped to the arm. And now Charlotte's going to take advantage, just like I said. Drop Shayna. And now Alexa going to go after Charlotte. Just like she wanted. Oh, she missed that last. And now both Shayna and Alexa going after Charlotte. Nice combo by Alexa. But now Shayna going to go back at the champion. Shayna has only one thing focused. Oh my god, Shayna! Wow. What a nice way to get damage. And oh, and it looks like you can't escape. Charlotte Flair gonna go for the sneaky escape. What is Shayna doing? She's just staring at her. Shayna's just staring. What? Shayna just. Both of these women just stared at Charlotte. Make her way up. And now Shayna's going to stop her. And now Alexa's up there as well. Shayna Baszler and Alexa both going after Charlotte. Both making sure that she does not escape. Charlotte's going to continuously try to escape. Uh, both women getting down. Shayna's back up. And now. Oh, Charlotte. Charlotte just kicked Shayna off. But Alexa's up. 
And Alexa finally pulling Charlotte down. But now Shayna. All three women are now on this rope. Shayna with a punch to Alexa. And now Alexa and Shayna getting down. But Charlotte's still on the rope. Charlotte's... What the hell are they doing? Why are they just staring at her? The woman is trying to escape. She's going to take her championship. Are you not concerned? What is happening? And now Shayna back at Charlotte. And Charlotte once again kicking Shayna off. And Alexa going after Charlotte. Oh! Charlotte kicking Alexa off now, but Shayna's back up. Oh my god, is this going to be the entire match? Shayna finally brings Charlotte down. All three women on the rope. Alexa attacks Shayna. Alexa and Shayna go down. Alright, Charlotte's finally gotten down thanks to Shayna. Oh, Alexa went for a taunt, but Charlotte just elbowed her. Oh, both Shayna and Alexa want a piece of Charlotte. Alexa got her pieces in. Now Shayna going to get her piece in. No, Charlotte with the reversal. And now with the punches, the strikes. But no, Alexa's not allowing it to happen. And now a fight has finally broken out in this match. Charlotte bringing Shayna to the corner. Drops her head first on the turnbuckle. And now Alexa Bliss with a kick. Oh, nice flip pile driver there by Alexa Bliss. And now Alexa going after the leg of Charlotte. Pretty smart to make sure that she doesn't, you know, try to climb up again. And now Shayna. Shayna in control. Shayna in control. DDT to Alexa. And Charlotte's just taunting, but Shayna's not going to let that happen anymore. Oh, she throws Charlotte into the cage. And Alexa with the drop kick to Shayna. And now picking her up. Oh, twisting the arm of Shayna. And now Charlotte doing the... Oh, Alexa Bliss. Insult to injury to Shayna. And now going to let Charlotte get a piece of it. Knee to the head. Alexa Bliss is in complete control. Now the champion is back in control. Keeping tabs on Charlotte. And now Shayna's back up. Takedown. Alexa Bliss right back up. Shayna Baszler. Oh my god. Nice combo by Shayna. And a clothesline to end it off. And now Charlotte's back up. Shayna with the attacks. Shayna drops her on her knee. And now Shayna. Oh, reversal by Alexa Bliss. DDT by Alexa. And now Charlotte drops. All right, no, no woman's gone for an escape yet, but no woman's really done anything besides Alexa Bliss in terms of special moves. And now Charlotte going after the arm. And now Charlotte onto Shayna. Drops her down. Alexa's out of the corner, slapped to Alexa's face. And now Charlotte Flair. Oh no, Alexa Bliss with the reversal. And now Shayna stomps Charlotte, but went to Alexa. Bad move. Bad move. Alexa Bliss picking up Shayna. The DDT by Bliss. And Charlotte going to try to steal the win. Not going to work. Reversal by Charlotte. Charlotte Flair ran at Alexa, but stopped in her tracks. And now Alexa has Charlotte. Drops her on the top turnbuckle. And now Alexa Bliss is going to put all of her focus into Charlotte. Oh, Boot by Charlotte. And now Shayna Baszler is taunting in the corner. Charlotte going to make her regret that. Oh no, Shayna with the reversal. And now Shayna going after the R. Oh! What's Shayna looking for here? Oh, Kara Fuda driver! Kara Fuda driver! And Shayna gets it. Uh, Alexa breaks up the submission. Oh my god! Was that a Shayna Superman punch? Like, goodness. Oh, uh oh. Shayna Baszler drops Alexa Bliss. 
Everybody is down but Shayna. And now Shayna picking up Alexa. Charlotte's getting up. Shayna going for another Kira for the driver, but the flare's getting up. Alexa Bliss is in the submission. Charlotte breaks it before anything can happen. And now Charlotte picking up. Oh my god! Pure strength by Charlotte Flair. And now Charlotte with the. Oh my goodness! Natural selection to Shayna Baszler! No, but Alex is down! Kick out by Shayna! Nice natural selection by Charlotte, but Shayna was able to kick out. Now Alexa Bliss is up. Drop Charlotte. And punches her. And now Alexa Bliss, the champion, is going to go ahead and try to escape. Let's hope we don't play a game of charades again. Shayna Baszler's back up. Charlotte Flair's waiting for Alexa to get up. Alexa's up. Both women are getting here now. Alexa's escaping. All right. Here we go. The punch by Charlotte. Uh-oh. Alexa kicks Charlotte down off the cage. But now Shayna's still there. And Charlotte gets right back up. And Shane is able to pull Alexa Bliss down. The woman was just having an all-out fight. All right, Charlotte's down. And now Shayna drops Alexa Bliss. And now Charlotte going to watch Shayna just climb again like they always do. Alexa Bliss is down and out. Charlotte Flair is going to try to climb up now. Shayna Baszler, reversal, but Alexa Bliss is still there. And now Charlotte's just going to watch back there. Good idea, because Alexa Bliss finally brings Shayna Baszler down. And now Alexa Bliss is going to try to escape with Shayna right next to her. Both women are going to try to escape. Alexa Bliss is, Alexa Bliss is, is up, Shayna's up, Charlotte has to pick one, wait, Shayna Baszler's stopping Alexa, Charlotte's going after Shayna, Charlotte is going after Shayna, what, what's Alexa, why did Alexa Bliss come down, she had the complete advantage there, and now Shayna kicks Charlotte down, and now Charlotte drops Alexa. Picking her up into the fireman's carry. Alexa with the reversal. Drops her down. And now Alexa Bliss. DDT to Charlotte. Went for the pin. Didn't work. Shayna got up. And now Alexa drops Shayna. And now Alexa Bliss. Oh, Shayna reverses the insult to injury. And now Shayna. Oh, Alexa Bliss reverses. She is not in control. Oh, wait. No, yes, she is. Drops Alexa down. But Charlotte is up. And now Shayna going to refocus her attention to Charlotte. Both women are down. Shayna Baszler is now going to attempt to escape. And Alexa Bliss is climbing the cage. Charlotte is still down, but now Charlotte's starting to get up. Alexa Bliss is now going to attempt to escape. But Shayna's already getting a head start. Alexa needs to hurry up. Alexa stops her right on time, but Charlotte brings her down. Charlotte brings them both down. Shayna Baszler's leaving! And both women just decided to watch in awe of their stupidity. And Shayna Baszler graciously falls down to become the new Raw Women's Champion. Shayna Baszler was... Well, she was the first number one contender. This was only supposed to be her and Alexa, so I guess she deserves this win.
ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the main event of the night. The WWE Championship is on the line. The two competitors that we have are unreal. Coming out first, the monster of a man, the Fiend. That is one scary individual. Now we did see the fiend at what's the money in the bank? I think the fiend actually did qualify for the money in the bank match, but he didn't win. I'm not sure. But the fiend is in this WWE Championship match. And let's get the WWE Champion out here. There he is, the WWE Champion himself, the Rated R Superstar, Edge. We got to see Edge take on Randy Orton at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view for the following championship. And he beat Randy Orton to become the first ever WWE Champion. But he's already facing probably going to be the biggest challenge on the Raw roster. The Fiend Bray Wyatt. Let's find out if Edge can retain the title tonight. Now, I was so hyped up by the match. I forgot to tell you tonight's stipulation. The following match, this is the Doomsday match. 15 minute time limit, extreme rules, but it's submission only. You heard it? Submission only with a 15 minute time limit. The Fiend is in a very big advantage tonight. But let's see what's going to happen. Oh my god. Headbutt after headbutt. Jesus. And the Fiend already going for a submission at the start of the match. Going to try to damage Edge so that he's weakened for when he gets that mandible claw in. And here we go. Edge is going to throw the Fiend out the ring. Remember, this is extreme rules. But it's also submission only. Remember, 14 minutes on that clock. And here we go. Oh! Oh, the headbutts again to Edge. Now, in my honest opinion, I don't think Edge is going to retain tonight. Oh! Fiend throwing him into the steel steps. I don't think Edge is going to retain tonight. Because he's taking on the freaking Fiend. But we're going to find out. The Fiend being cautious. And here we go. Here we go. The Fiend now going at it. And now the Fiend going to leave Edge alone. Going to get into the ring. Leaving Edge out there. Now Edge is going to get back in the ring. And here we go. Fiend. Punch to him. Head. And another headbutt. And now Edge is up. Oh, but the Fiend reverses. And the Fiend throws Edge right back out the ring. Look at how dominant the Fiend is right now. And he's going to put another submission in. I don't think this is false count anywhere, though. But the Fiend going to get that damage in again. And a kick. And the Fiend reverses that. Oh, Edge with the reversal as well. And now Edge is going to throw the Fiend in the ring. We're finally back in and Edge is finally back up. Oh, the Fiend with the Uranagi. Oh, and Edge pushes him off before he could do anything. And he goes straight out the ring. The Edge is going for a weapon. Edge knows that he needs to get a weapon. He got a steel chair, but the Fiend's not going to allow it. And now the Fiend picking him up. The crowd. Oh, power slam. And now the Fiend has the chair. Oh, and he's attacking the champion. Oh, but Edge got up. Oh, no, the Fiend. Edge 
traverse before anything could happen. Oh, nice. The WWE Champion now has the steel chair in his hand. Now he's going to assault the Fiend with the chair. Fiend reverses. Oh, nice block. But it's not enough. The Fiend throws him all the way across the ringside area. And now the Fiend is back in the ring. All right, Edge is going to make his way in the ring as well. But the Fiend got him. The Fiend got him, Power Slam! Another head, but the Fiend is not afraid to use his own body as a weapon. Goodness gracious. And now the Fiend putting pressure to the shoulder. And now Edge with a leg sweep gets out of that. And Edge is going to go back out the ring. Remember, Edge needs a weapon, and he's going to fish for it again, but the Fiend's not going to allow it again. Picking him up by the neck. Oh! Oh! Went for a double axe handle on the ground. Edge reversed, and a punch to the head of the Fiend! Edge keeps trying to get a weapon. The Fiend's seen the desperation. We're currently at 10 minutes now. Now the Fiend is going to go ahead and get in the ring. Get right back out. Elbow to the head of Edge. And throws him into the barricade. What's the Fiend doing? Oh. Can't really see with this camera angle. Now the Fiend stomping away at the arm. The Fiend has been in total control so far, leaving Edge to only get minimal damage to him in the match. Now the Fiend going to throw Edge in the ring. Edge is in big trouble. The Fiend, the Fiend's making Edge get up. And it's time for the Minimal Claw. The Minimal Claw is in. Edge has been getting... What happened? Oh. It wasn't a submission. He didn't put the submission one in. But now he has the edge by the head. Edge is just getting torn apart. And now Edge stops the Fiend with the knee to the head. Going straight out the ring. Notice how Edge goes straight for a weapon every chance that he gets. He just pulled a fucking table out and he hits the Fiend with it. He's not even going to set it up. And now Edge with the barrage of an attack. Drop kick. And now Edge is going to pick the table up again. Drops it again. Look, you can see the mark on the table from that hit he just gave to the Fiend. Edge is picking up the steel chair. Going back to all reliable. Oh, but the Fiend got him before he could get the hit. Edge with the reversal. Oh, drops him on the table. Picking the chair up again. And now Edge with the chair. But that chair is banged up. We're 8 minutes and 38 seconds into the match now. And now Edge is back in the ring, leaving the Fiend out and goes right back out. And nice chop. Went for another chop, missed. And now the Fiend with a punch. Fiend's tried to get a combo and didn't work. And now Edge back in control. Suplex. And now Edge is going to pick the table up again. What's he going to do with it? Oh my god. Edge doesn't want nothing to do with that table. A hockey stick? Oh my god! He's assaulting the Fiend with the hockey stick! The Fiend is not phased. He finally got the Fiend down. The Fiend is finally down. But now the Fiend's back up. And Edge is about to pay. Power slam on the outside. And now picking Edge up. And now the Fiend's going to get back in the ring. Go right back out. And now Edge throws the Fiend across the ringside area and goes in the ring. And he's going to get right back out. Watch. Hold on. Hold on. Yep. Oh, but the Fiend's going in. And Edge is going to follow. We're finally back in the ring. Elbow to Edge. And now the Fiend is in control. Suplex to Edge. Fiend picking Edge up. Edge with the reversal. And a spear! But that's not going to do it. And Edge is going to immediately get the submission hold in. 
Are we gonna see the fiend tap? The fiend does not look phased in the slightest by the submission. And he drops Edge. And now Fiend has Edge by the head. Gonna let him go now. Headbutt. And he's gonna go for the headbutt barrage again. God. And now the Fiend. What's he doing? Oh boy. Oh, oh my goodness. I would not want to see that in my room at night. And now the Fiend. Got Edge where he wants him. Sister Abigail. And now I'm going to go for the traditional submission headlock. The Fiend has it in. Is Edge about to tap? And Edge survives another headlock. We're at the five minute mark now. Slap to Edge. Edge with the reversal. Nice reversal by Edge. And now Edge is going to go out the ring. Per tradition, going to get a weapon to try and take the Fiend down with. And he has a baseball bat now. Oh, but the Fiend caught with a mandible claw. He caught with a mandible claw. That baseball bat is not going to work. And now the Fiend is going to once again put the headlock in. And I think this might be it for Edge. I think this might be it for his WWE Championship reign. Edge is still in it. And now the Fiend going to apply pressure to his shoulder again. No way. No way. Edge is struggling. But it's not going to work. Edge has to be... Oh. And here we go. Edge with the reversal. Edge is back in control. Picking up the Fiend. Headbutt. And I'm going to attack the arm of the Fiend. And now Edge is going to pick the baseball bat up. No man will call to stop him now. Only one baseball bat hit. And the Fiend drops him. And the Fiend is preparing once again. For that sister Abigail. Look at the disgusting crawl to Edge. My God. And here we go. Oh no. Sister Abigail. That's like the fourth one of the match. And the Fiend is putting the submission hold back in. I think this is it. The Fiend has it locked in and it's over. Edge has tapped. Ladies and gentlemen. Wow. There's that Uranagi. There's the spear that... Look at all of this. Well... Oh, God. Look at the fiend. Oh! Oh! Just... My God! The Fiend is the new WWE Champion. We all saw Edge take every weapon possible under that ring to try and take the fiend down but it couldn't work what a way to end judgment day